This year's Global Energy Summit will address the issue of how to build a sustainable energy mix for shifting energy demand. I'm excited to be part of the day. I've had a look at the speakers and who's here, and uh, it's an impressive group, so congratulations as well to the organizing committee and to all of you. Now the focus of this morning's panel on building a competitive, secure and clean energy mix could not be more pertinent. The potential future of offshore wind and what it might contribute not just in the UK but I suspect most jurisdictions globally will depend on how technology and standards unfold. Our figures indicated about 13% of global power came from, uh, from clean energy. Uh, we're forecasting that will increase to around 16% in uh, 2030. Another striking pattern in terms of demand is that 90% of all this uh, demand growth will come from non-OECD countries. When you have a technology breakthrough and then when you boost your production, that's when you see how much the industry is moving forward and that's how much you, you see the impact. Higher oil prices surely means higher profits, higher revenues. But actually what we're finding is that in the European context, higher oil prices are being slightly counterproductive. Normally I am surrounded by politicians. So it is always a pleasant change to share some time with people that really know what they are talking about. I have the honor today to travel with you into a fascinating world, the world of smart grids. What we're talking about here, we're talking about um, the shape of future energy demand. We've got to start changing the way we use energy, the way we value energy, the way we produce it, and the way we utilize it. But the debate all day has been truly um, energizing, even for an industry person like me. We're already planning the infrastructure in for, for electric vehicles. It has to happen in urban environments. It's been a very interesting day for me, um, for a number of reasons. Uh, learning about smart grids and smart meters and all these wonderful things that we've listened to this afternoon. I always enjoyed participating in these conferences, especially if they are university-based, yeah, because these are the people uh, that drive the future. I know, as you do, that the issues discussed today are fundamental to all our futures.